Hey guys, this is Robert Getze at the Humminbird Side Imaging Forums at SideImagingSoft.com. We're going to do a quick tutorial tonight on how to download uh, Humminbird update software. Uh, we're going to use Humminbird PC to put the update on an SD card and then we're going to take that SD card and we're going to update our 997C with it. So let's get started and uh, we're going to go over to Humminbird.com and uh, we're going to go over to the support tab and uh, if you guys have not registered your product with hummingbird.com you need to go ahead and do so so let's go ahead and click product registration and just go through this real quick it's pretty simple and painless uh, just put your information in there uh, you'll put in an email address which is going to be your user ID and then uh, you'll also have a password there you're going to need your unit serial number off the back of your unit and you're going to need to follow this format very closely because if you don't it will not register properly uh, there's a little uh, survey down here at the bottom that's optional scroll down you click the submit button and you should be registered um, once you do get registered every time you come back to hummingbird.com you're going to go to the support tab and you're going to go to my account so let's click on my account and uh, this is where we log in at so basically over here in the top right hand corner uh, we're going to click in the user ID box and again like I said that email address is going to be your user ID so let's go ahead and type that in hit the tab button that will take you down to the password field type in your password and then uh, let's go ahead and click on login and what that's going to do is that's going to bring us to our profile page and uh, what you can do here is update your profile information um, you can register additional products and as you can see I've got a couple registered here now and um, what we need to do is we need to go down here and take a look at our 997 and we see that there is a, a new update available 4.750 and uh, this is assuming now that you guys have already installed Humminbird PC so if you have it now's the time to do it we'll go ahead and click on that and take a look at it um, this is version 3.0.26 and uh, all you need to do is uh, click download here down at the right hand corner and click run and that will start the download and uh, install it for you since we've already uh, installed it on this computer we're just going to click cancel and close this out let's go ahead and click on the uh, update here and uh, this is the big update for 2010 that everybody's been waiting on that adds a down imaging software so uh, we're going to set this up tonight we're going to click begin download in the bottom right hand corner and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to save this file to uh, a folder on our computer so let's go ahead and click save and uh, what this is uh, what this is going to open up to this is my hummingbird PC now you can see I've already actually got it saved here but let's go ahead and click save do not change this file name um, you want to make sure that it stays the same that's the only way that your unit is going to recognize that file uh, whenever you go to update it so go ahead and just click save this one's going to ask me if I want to replace it. We're going to say yes. Yours wouldn't do that if it's not there. Uh, should take just a second for this thing to download, um, depending on your internet speed, of course. And uh, this should go by pretty quick here. But once it does uh, finish up, we're going to close this out, and uh, and then we're going to start up Humminbird PC. So let's go ahead and close this, close this, and we're going to go to our Start menu and we're going to go to all programs scroll to you find hummingbird pc and here's the hummingbird pc program so we'll click on that and it's going to start up here now as you can see um, things are kind of grayed out uh, if you go to the file menu we go down to update uh, nothing happens here everything's kind of grayed out the reason this is is basically if you you have to have an SD card inserted because that's what we're up updating it to so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my SD card now this SD card has been in my unit so it has some information already on it and watch what happens it's gonna come up here uh, on the left side here just a second as soon as it uh, as soon as it finds that SD card and we're gonna click on this and bam look at here so now we've got uh, we've got all this information that's on this card from it from the profile that was uh, given to it by the 997 serial number uh, the current software version that's installed on the unit is 4.570 last updated April 28th of 2009 um, this is where you can personalize the text on your unit as well and we can walk through that real quick before we do this update just go up here to the ABC click that and here you can uh, enter your information so I'm gonna put my name on there uh, you can put your address
and maybe a telephone number. You click save. Now that's been saved here uh, to the card um, and uh, certainly the next time you stick the card in the slot it's going to update it. Now to put the update on your card so that we can send it to the 997 what we're going to do is we're going to go to file we're going to go to update. Now if you notice all this is uh, not grayed out so if we click on if we go to update you see that E that's the SD card drive so we're going to click on that and the software update wizard comes up. We click on next and again it's going to tell us 997C is the unit we're updating 4.57 is the current version and we're going to browse for the new file location so we click browse and it's going to bring it up here now it brought up into another folder where I've got some other uh, other bin files saved but basically what we need to do is we need to find that uh, my hummingbird PC so I know it's in uh, my documents here and we'll scroll down and there it is right there my hummingbird PC and boom there's the update so 4.750 so we're going to click on that click open and you can see the link is there now uh, in the in the update wizard click next and just that fast it is sent it to the SD card uh, on the E drive so we'll click finished and uh, now basically we can go to that SD card and take a look at it make sure that it's on there and uh, as you can see there it is 4.750 now on this SD card I still have uh, an old update on there. I have the 4.570 so uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and let's uh, click on that one and let's right click and click delete. So let's get that one off of there. We don't want it confused about anything. Let's put one update on there at a time. So uh, as you can see there's some other things here. I've got a record folder, snapshot folder and of course my profile information which we updated in Hummingbird PC uh, that will update our unit when we stick that in there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove this SD card. We're going to take it over to the 997 and we're going to perform an update.